guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm finally gonna give you guys the green eye tutorial that you guys have been asking for. I have promised this tutorial for a very long time. I filmed this tutorial and I hated the final results. You guys said I should still release the video, but I don't like it. So for once, for the first time ever, I scrapped that video and I'm gonna redo it again for you guys. So hopefully it turns out better than what I did last time, but we shall see. So if you guys wanna see what I used to create this beautiful green eye look that you guys have been asking me about, then definitely keep on watching. Right, so I'm gonna start off by apologizing right now. So, <laughs> I live in an apartment complex, and yesterday when I got home from work, I got a letter in my door saying that today, of all days, they are going to pressure wash our building. They do this once a month, I swear to God, all the time. It is so annoying. I live on the first floor, and the water always comes through under the door. I have a mat but it still comes through. It is rather annoying. And they pressure wash forever. And then what they like to do is they like to stand on different staircases and yell at each other the whole time of what they're doing. So I apologize if you guys are gonna hear any background noises. That is them. Because when I got the letter, I was like, oh No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 Do you know what I'm saying? So, I apologize. <laughs> All right, so to get started, I already have my eyes uh, set with primer and I did put a little bit of setting powder to help clean down the base I am going to go into my juicy olive palette Now this is what I use to create that look by all means you guys do not have to use this palette at all You guys can use any green eyeshadow palette that you guys wish to use This is just the one that I like the most this one that worked best for me So this is the one I'm gonna go into I never remember which colors I use but we're gonna figure it out together I actually really do love this eyeshadow palette. I'm so glad that a beautiful subscriber of mine actually recommended it. So she knows who she is. I love you. Thank you. And um, I just, I love it so much. So I'm gonna try to recreate that green eye look. I wish I would've wrote the steps down because the first time I ever did that look, it was beautiful. Now I'm like, what did I do? So we're gonna, we're gonna play it by ear. So the first thing I'm gonna go into is Dirty Martini. And I'm gonna take my little brush and I'm just gonna slowly Start to build it up this time compared to how I did it last time. Last time it was just a freaking hot mess. Hot mess express. But while I'm doing this, I figured I can go ahead and just talk to you guys so you guys get to listen to me ramble on. Um, I want to first off thank each and every one of you guys for absolutely loving my how to become an apologetic booty guru here on YouTube for my Halloween costume. I had such a great time with that video. I had so much fun and I'm getting such positive feedback from it. Oh my God, that video was so fun to do. So easy and I just feel like it's so relatable, especially for the community that I personally am involved in. I just thought it was great. I thought it was perfect and I absolutely loved doing it. <laughs> Makes me wanna do more videos like that in the future because in that video, that's just me. You guys got to see my true, authentic, goofy self. That is what my friends and fiance have to deal with is me being just like that the whole time. So you guys finally get to see me, yay! <laughs> okay, so while I'm doing this, I figured I could actually talk to you guys. I am gonna kinda talk about a serious matter just a little bit because I need to get this off my chest and you guys are the perfect people to talk to about this. But I actually have been contacted recently by three different companies. And I'm gonna be very, very real about my experience and I'm never gonna hide anything from you guys. So I was originally contacted by Smile Direct, and there's a reason I'm gonna tell you guys all about this. So I got contacted by Smile Direct. They want to send me their whole product where I could sit here and truly whiten my teeth. Now my teeth are a sensitive subject just because I know they're not perfect right here. I'm starting to get a little bit of a like, I don't know, teeth starting to go a little bit over this one. It's just because my wisdom teeth are growing in. I've always had straight teeth my entire life. But this is causing it to get a little unstraightened and my teeth are not the widest because I drink a lot of coffee. Coffee's my best friend, ain't getting rid of it. So I was contacted by them and they asked me if I wanted to try out their kit and I remember seeing 
um, other people talking about it and I was like, okay, you know what? That's actually not a bad idea to try out. It's something that I've always been interested in is whitening my teeth and so they reach so they asked me if I wanted to do this. I said yes. Now they want me to do a video on it and I was like, all right, you know, you're sending me a product. Let me try doing a review on it because I want to do it for myself, not for anyone else. I'm going to do the whole progress to see if it really is worth it, to see if it's worth your guys' buck to get this product. So I'm being very open and talking to you guys about this now before I even, like, well, I'm already agreeing to do it, but I'm not getting paid or there's no contracts to go with it. Two days ago, I was contact by, t contacted by High Smile. And High Smile is almost like the exact same thing as Smile Direct, and it just has like a little whitening system. They asked if I wanted to do a review of their product as well. Now they wanted a full five to seven minute dedic dedicated video to their product that, and they would talk about, talk about potentially paying me for the video. And I was very honest. I was flat out very honest. I said, hey, listen, I just want you to know that I've already agreed to do another whitening system to try out. I really appreciate you reaching out to me, but I think it's not fair to either one of the companies if I say yes to both. So unfortunately, I'm gonna have to pass up on your offer, but I truly wish you guys nothing but the best. They were so like, oh, thank you so much for getting back to us. We really appreciate your honesty and for reaching out. We wish you the best too. Maybe one day we can work together. Maybe, but I'm not like harping on it. Well, after that, I got contacted by Gobi Brushes, and I've never even heard about this, but it's an electronic toothbrush, and I'm like, okay, first off, I'm getting all these teeth companies reaching out to me. What are you guys trying to tell me? You know what I'm saying? Like, what are you trying to tell me? But they reached out and asked me if I wanted to try out the product. In return, they wanted me to either do, not a dedicated video, though they that's my choice if I wish to do so, but do either a product mention in a haul or my beauty accessories. Now, hear me out before you guys say anything. I'm starting to get annoyed because because after that I got contact contacted by another brand alter ego now I've had a few of my subscribers on here tell me I should really review their products they reached out to me and said hey we just want to send you our products no strings attached we love for you to try out our products I said okay I'd love to try your products no strings attached well I knew that they were gonna send me products over so I was like I'm gonna do a video for it because I want to do a video for it well I got an email yesterday saying that they want me to, like, they want me to in the video link all the products with the description with the discount code and I'm like wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute I never agreed to do a video and now you're because you're sending me products you're assuming I'm gonna do a video and that's where I'm starting to get like hold up I'm a small channel yes I know that and I think it's great that companies are wanting to reach out to me to send me their products. But here's the thing, they want me to, re they want to reach out to me because they want to send me their products for a review and or Instagram story in return. Now that doesn't seem like it's a big deal, it doesn't. But when they email you and say, I want to see this, 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 and this, please do a dedicated video. I'm like, wait a minute, you're not paying me to do this. Do you know how much time and effort it takes, truly how much time and effort it takes to film a video, edit a video, do the tags, description, thumbnail, title, process, upload, stay, do social media on my Instagram and on Twitter and to respond to all your guys' comments. It is very, very, very time consuming. And these companies wanna reach out to me to try out their products, but they don't want me to try out their products. Ultimately, they don't. They want me to get their product, do a review, and talk about it. Which is great, but I, sh I don't know. Maybe, maybe just because I'm spoiled with how Courtney treated me from Bling Brushes, but when she reached out to me and said, hey, I wanna send you my brush set, no questions asked, I just want you to try it. She never asked for a video, never asked me to talk about the products, never talked to me, asked me to do any product mention, nothing. She generally just wanted to send me the products to try out. And that is what I love. I've talked to Paige, I've talked to Chrissy. Both girls have received products with no, strange attached to it. They've really just been sent products to truly try out, to see if they really like it, to see if they even want to talk about it. I have not had that pleasure yet with people wanting to just send me products just to send me products to try, except for bling brushes. Everyone else has strings attached to it. Well, I'm gonna send you this, but we do want a dedicated video, five to seven minutes, do all these little talking points, and I'm really getting frustrated about it because they're making me feel like my time is not valued, that my time doesn't deserve to get paid for. And I'm not trying to sit here and vent and bitch about it, which is exactly what I'm doing, but I feel like if you want me to do like a whole dedicated video, I'm sorry, but you should pay me for it because it's literally gonna take me eight to nine hours to do that video for you, and I'm not gonna see any profit off of it. Like I may get five to seven bucks off the video from you guys watching it, but that's it. Yeah, sure, I get a cool product, but that's still eight to nine hours of work. I don't know, I may sound like I'm over entitled, I may sound like I'm 
complaining and I'm, you know, I should be grateful companies want to send me a product and I, and I get where some of these comments would probably come from. But at the same time, like, I don't want to, I'm, no, it's not for me. No, it's not for me. I feel that, like, Jim's been looking at me kind of a lot all week. I would be creeped out by it, but it's nothing compared to the way Michael looks at me. <clears throat> I feel that my time should be valued and I feel like these companies want to take advantage of me because I am so small and just they just want to send me the product and hope that I do a full dedicated review for them because they're sending me the product. Well, at the end of the day, I don't know, I guess I just feel that like if I really wanted to try out your product and I really wanted to get it, I would just buy it with my own money. I shouldn't have to sit here and do a full on dedicated review to your product if I really don't want to. And so I think because of this and I'm sure people are gonna be like, oh, you're ungrateful, you're this or that, like, I'm sorry, but my time does have value to it and I shouldn't have to sit here and do a review for every single product that I get. If you wanna send me a product to try out, I would love to try it, but that doesn't guarantee a review for you. If I really like your product, I'm gonna talk about it. Like the Alter Ego, I was gonna do a full on review for it because of the fact that my subscribers have been asking for it, they wanted me to try it and I was like, yeah, why not? And then you want me to add all these other stuff to it. I'm like, but wait a minute, like I just wanna try out your product. I want no strings attached. And I know I'm sounding like I'm whining and I'm entitled this and that. Like I know how annoying I sound to myself, but my time is valued and I'm spending eight to nine hours on doing a YouTube video. I feel like I should be compensated in some way, especially if I'm gonna do a ded dedicated review. I'm sorry, but talk, after talking and hanging on page, like, I don't know, I just, I wouldn't go to my job and work for free. Why would I do the same here to do a full review for a company, if that makes sense? And I'm really sorry this topic really bothers people and maybe like gets people like, oh, you should be grateful companies want to send you product. I know, and I, and I am, but at the same time, like, if you want me just to send it, just to really try it out, then just send it. Don't ask for anything in return. But if you want full dedicated videos, either start paying me or I'm just going to say no. And I think right now, Corey, what I told Corey is that I'm going to start saying no. I've turned down every, I've turned down a lot of companies because of this because I'm just like, no. Like, you're not going to just demand that you send me a product and I do this full on dedicated review. Like, I just... I don't have the time or the patience for it. I want to film videos that I want to film, that I love filming because I love doing what I do, but I want to I want to enjoy it, not be like, I have to do this video. Do you know what I'm saying? So hopefully you guys can understand where I am coming from. Hopefully nobody gets offended by me talking about this subject. I really, really, oh, but I'm going into cocktails right here, so sorry. Um, because I just feel like my time should be valued a little bit. And some of these companies make you feel like because I'm so small, I could be taken advantage of and I learned my lesson with OIs and I'm not dealing with that again. So I think for now I'm strictly going to just not be a PR beauty guru. I think I'm just going to stick to my own lane and buy my own makeup and just go from there. Now I will always work with bling brushes because of how the company worked. I don't work with luxury scent box. They were fantastic as well and I do want to work with me in the future and I'm, I'm actually really excited to work with them in the future. Other than that, I'm okay to just stick to my own lane if that makes any sense at all. I think that's how I did it. Ooh, that looks so muddy and gross. Anyway, so that's just something I really wanted to talk to you guys about because it's just been bothering me and I really want your guys' opinion. So if you guys have one, please let me know in the comments below. And if you guys feel that I'm just bitching and complaining about it, please also let me know. Just be, just be kind about it, please. No, oh, here comes that damn water. <sighs> That's, this side always drives me freaking crazy. This eye right here always drives me crazy. Ah, it's never perfect. Ever. Alrighty, now that that is laid down, it is not perfect, but that is okay. I'm going to go into my With Love Cosmetics pressed glitter in the color tropical it is this little guy right here these do retail for ten dollars a piece you can find them at withlovecosmetics.com i do not have a code with them but page does have a code with them and you can use coach page to save five percent off yes it's tiny it's tiny but five percent off does add up so i think it's age like 60 cents 
but these are so incredibly amazing. I do love these. So you guys have to go check them out. They're like the best pressed glitter I think I've ever, ever encountered. And oh my God, they are just so gorgeous. Now I do wanna tell you guys right now, they do take some time to come in. Like, see like you just press it on and whew. It takes some time to come in because they are coming from overseas, over from England, I believe. So just, just know that they take a little bit of time, but they are so worth it. See, just press that on and boom. Freaking gorgeous. Gorgeous! I love it because you literally just press it on. Now, I will definitely tell you guys, when you go to wash this off, you are going to be glittery for a couple of days. Just a heads up, I'm glittery for a couple of days. I literally can have the best makeup remover and um, I'll still be, still be glittering away. <laughs> I think that's about right. I <sighs> think it's about right, I think. So, what I'm going to do is go uh, cry about this guy being outside. No, I'm kidding. No, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do this. I'm gonna put on the rest of my face off camera and then I'm gonna come back um, with most of my face done, I think the only thing I'm not gonna do is I'm gonna do my under, I'm gonna do the rest of my eye look with you guys, but I'll still have, my, I'll have the rest of my face entirely done. I'll just do the rest of the eye look with you guys so you guys can see the final process of that. And once again, I am really sorry that I did talk about that, but it's just something that really bothers me and as my friends, I kinda just want advice from you guys, like what should I do? Am I right to feel how I feel? Like, should I just take the products and do the reviews? Or is my time actually worth something and I shouldn't sit here and do all these dedicated reviews for these companies without getting something out of it. So, I don't know, what's your opinion? Please tell me, because I really hate sounding like I'm just whining and complaining, because that's just not how I want to sound at all. So, I just wanted to be very open and honest with you, and I'm sure companies hate that about me, that I'm gonna tell you guys how it is, but I personally don't care, you guys should know. So, I'll be right back. All right, so now the majority of my face is done, I'm gonna go in and do the rest of the look for you guys. So, I'm gonna go back into the Juicy Olive Palette. I'm actually gonna go into this color, Dirty Martini right here. And I'm just gonna take in this little tiny little brush, dip into here ever so slightly. And I'm just gonna put it right underneath. If anyone wants to know, I will have everything that I am wearing on my face listed down below. I tend to never put what I wear on my face like ever in the description. I really need to start because I know you guys keep asking me like, well, what do, what do you wear on your lips? What do you wear on your eyes? Like what's on your face? Like I need to like start being a better beauty guru in that sense where I list all the products that I use down in the description. So I will have all that listed down below. I'm so glad I stopped recording when I did because literally water just came flowing in and I was like, great. So I had to go clean that up. And when I'm doing the rest of my face, I like to put on a little bit of music just because I like to just relax. And I love listening to scores. Like, I think they're so relaxing. And I was listening to Avatar, actually. It popped up and it reminded me of when I was on the ride last week with uh, Paige. We had did Flight of Passage, which was one of the best rides on property, hands down, I think it's one of the best rides. Better than the Galaxy's Edge Star Wars ride, I think it's just phenomenal. Well, there is a scene in the ride where you're riding a ban banshee, and there's a scene in the ride where you go into this cave and all the spirits come floating down, and it's the most softest music ever, and it gets me emotional every single time. And the reason why is because when that ride had opened, Jenna, my best friend who passed away with cancer, she really wanted to see that ride. And she always told me that she's gonna be like a little chip in my shoulder and that way I know that she's around. I hadn't felt her that entire time for a couple months after she had passed, I hadn't felt her. So I was always like, you know, where are you? Like, I, I miss you. And on the first time on the ride when those spirits came down was the first time I felt that presence on my shoulder. And oh my God, I lost it. I was sobbing on that ride. I was legit sobbing on that ride because I was like, oh my God, like for the first time I feel Jenna here. And so when we went last week, 
we get to that part and once again, I cried during that part. Now I did not feel the heavy sensation that I did before. I legit like, I love that scene. I love that part in the ride. It is probably the best part in the entire ride. It is such a cool experience. If any of you guys are coming out to Disney, you guys have to go get fast passes or get in line for flight of passage. I'm telling you, it is worth every bit of the wait. We waited like an hour to get on it. Worth it, worth it. Now that that step is done, I am gonna go in with a little bit of mascara. Just to coat the lashes. All right, now that that step is complete, I'm gonna go into my ABH Amarizi highlighter. This has a gold shimmer to it, and I'm actually gonna go take a little tiny little brush. I'm gonna tap in here, and I'm gonna take it and put it just right here at the brow. Ooh, <gasps> almost dropped that. All right, then I'm also gonna take it, because one of my wonderful subscribers actually said, you should put gold on the inner corner instead of white. So I'm actually gonna do it with gold this time, or a version of a gold. I'm just gonna pat tap it right here into the inner corner. And boom, that is it guys. This is the final look. See, something so easy, not that complicated. You guys do not have to have the Juicy Olive Palette to create this look. Like I said, you can use any green eyeshadow that you guys have in your collection. The only thing that I do recommend getting is going to be the With Love Cosmetics Press Glitter and the color Tropical. That is what I used for this. So if you wanna get like this exact type of look, you would have to get this press glitter. I will link the website down below. It is just a $10 press glitter, but it works so well. Paige does have a code, so you guys do save 5% off your purchase. And I absolutely love press glitters. Actually, she got me this little <laughs> magnetic palette. I was, I was telling her that I didn't have like something to put my With Love Cosmetics pro stuff in, and so she actually gave me this little magnetic stuff. She gave me some other stuff too, but I just, oh my God, I can't wait to talk to you guys about but I think this is such a gorgeous look it's so beautiful and I feel like so many people can rock it out it's very very easy steps to do and you guys can twist it and turn it the way that you guys want to I did use a juicy olive palette but like I said once again you guys do not have to have this palette you guys can use any palette that you guys want to use out there you don't feel like you have to use this but I do recommend getting the with love cosmetics press glitter just so that you can get the exact same green that you have right here or you can find another green and do it the way you want to it's completely up to you that is it on how to do this green eye tutorial I actually really love how this eye look turned out compared to my last one. This one looks so much better. It looks so much cleaner, neater. I took my time with it. I didn't rush with it. I really just really love how this turned out. And I didn't bring it up to my eyebrows. See, I could, I can go without bringing it up to my eyebrows. It is possible <laughs> to not bring it up to the eyebrow. But I also want to thank you guys for listening to me vent to you guys today. Please let me know your opinions down below. What do you think I should do? Am I right to feel how I feel or should I stop whining and being a little bitch and just take these products into the review? What is your opinion? I wanna know from you guys because you guys are my friends, you guys are my family, and I love listening to you guys' opinions. So let me know in the comments below. And if you guys like this tutorial and wanna see more tutorials of me using other colors, because I do have, I keep turning myself away. I do have quite a few other colors in here that I could do many different eye looks with it. I have some whites, pinks, oranges, some blues. I could do other eye looks with this so you guys can see how to recreate the same looks and how easy they are. Literally, this is three shadows all together. Not that difficult. So yeah, if you guys like this video, please make sure you guys give this video a cheeky thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already because I do post three to four videos a week. Also, make sure you guys head on over to my other channel. It is Our Florida Life. You guys can see my cool, old, wonderful adventures here in Florida with my amazing fiance, Corey. And as always, guys, I want to thank you guys for all your love and support. And I'll see you guys in the very next video. Bye! <laughs> Okay. Ooh. Uh, gotta get my coffee, y'all. Gotta get my coffee. Mm. Okay. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my. Oop, nope, I didn't do my little thingy. For example, bec and that now, and that's why I started getting annoyed. I feel like that my. I feel like that. Oh my god, this is annoying. How 
should I pose for my thumbnail? How should I pose? Should I hold the product up or should I just like, you know, this ooh, product placement? <laughs> oh my God, I'm so silly. I'm talking to myself. Oh my God, my earring just fell out. No. Oh, I just dropped these everywhere. No! <sighs> All right, so the only thing I will say, hello, the only thing I would say about after you get done filming a beauty review or tutorial, your mess, just your mess. Oh my God, my hair. Your desk just looks like a hot mess. Yeah. <laughs>